Hey everyone, and welcome to the results video of the mini wild mouse coaster contest. In this contest all the players had to build either a steel wild mouse, a spinning wild mouse or a wooden wild mouse coaster. Now if you don't know how the voting works, um, basically when all the players have uh, finished their entries and the deadline has passed, uh, everybody who's a member of my discord can give all these entries uh, a rating. In this contest, uh, all the entries got a rating for the coaster and a rating for the overall looks of the park. And the average of all these scores uh, will be the final score for these entries. So yeah, um, I often get comments from people who say uh, an entry deserved higher. Or uh, uh, yeah, if you feel an entry deserves a higher score, um, feel free to join my Discord and join in the voting as well. Uh, you can also have an influence on these scores. Anyway, there were 24 entries this round. Uh, I will show all of them. Uh, I'll start with the one that got last place and I'll finish by announcing who is the winner of this round. Alright, in last place we have this entry from 73. Uh, while I think the map uh, looks really cool, um, the coaster itself uh, doesn't really look like a wild mouse in my opinion. Of course it does have the wild mouse cars. But uh, the layout is not really anything like a wild mouse uh, would, uh, would be. For example, a wild mouse usually has uh, some zigzag sections where the cars just slowly uh, travel around uh, uh, or through some hairpin curves to make the guests feel like they're flying off the track. And usually they're pretty compact. And this coaster, um, well, <laughs> while it does look uh, pretty daunting, uh, yeah, it doesn't really have uh, any of the characteristic elements that a wild mouse normally has. So that's uh, most likely why many players gave it uh, quite a low score. But I must say uh, it does look uh, pretty cool. Alright, here's the entry from Cat Booger. Now I actually think this entry uh, um, w was pretty nice. You can see this vaporwave uh, aesthetic. Uh, yeah, I uh, really like that uh, myself. We should probably do a multiplayer round in this, uh, with this theme. I think that could work out uh, pretty well. I really like this uh, sunset hamburger in the in the background, and I also really like the color scheme of the coaster. Now the decoration is a little bit sparse. Um, yeah, that's probably also uh, uh, a cause of the or, or an effect of the of the aesthetic that uh, that has been used. Uh, as for the layout, the coaster layout is pretty nice, but I think the um, coaster could have used some breaks uh, here and there in its uh, in its layout. Alright, here's the entry from Only Chaos DJ. Oh, he actually made a, a skate park. His entry was themed after Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. You can see the skate park here uh, in the middle. You can see some of these uh, skate letters that you can uh, collect. He uh, used these signs for that. You can also see the videotape here. Yeah, I, I think this uh, skate park uh, looks, uh, looks really nice. Uh, the outside of the map, a bit more sparsely decorated, I think uh, some more attention could have been given to that. Um, as for the wild mouse coaster, um, yeah, I think it's probably a little bit on the tall side. And that's also why it just uh, um, yeah, races through this uh, last section here. Um, where it's a surprise, the guests don't get yeeted out of their vehicles. So yeah, uh, probably a bit more uh, attention could have been given to the pacing of these uh, vehicles. Okay, the next entry is from Cardboard Food. Now, uh, this uh, layout is ex actually looks a bit more like a real uh, wild mouse already. You can see the typical zigzag uh, section here. It is still a little bit on the fast side, but uh, I think the support structure for it uh, actually looks uh, quite nice. Yeah, I like the way it looks with these signs on the side. You can see some cog wheels here. Um, yeah, just uh, the rest of the map probably could have used uh, a little bit more detailing, and then it would have been uh, if would have been uh, much nicer. But still, I think it's uh, it's a great effort. Okay, here's the entry from Dragon Boy. Uh, he made this uh, spinning wild mouse. Uh, yeah, it sits here in this uh, uh, brownish uh, landscape. No, it's quite an interesting aesthetic, also with these pieces of buildings here. Uh, probably just uh, pieces of, uh, of ruin. Uh, also a bit futuristic. Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting mix of uh, different elements here in this map. Uh, as for the layout, I think if the uh, layout was uh, maybe a little bit more compact, I think it would have done uh, much better. 
And perhaps for the foliage, uh, might have been nice that instead of having all the trees spread out. Uh, yeah, as a, as a general tip, uh, foliage it's, uh, us usually looks nicer if you make some nice uh, clumps of, uh, of trees. Um, that generally just works uh, works a little bit better. So it might be something to keep in mind for uh, next time. Okay, the next entry is from Terabo. Now, uh, this entry is actually a living room, so you can see a big uh, armchair here. And you can see some uh, mice uh, climbing up on it. Yeah, I think this is a really fun uh, idea. Um, this looks like a kitchen uh, counter. You can see the mice uh, uh, crawling around in it. So I think it's a really a fun idea what uh, Terabo did here. Um, decoration, uh, however, I think it's a little bit uh, basic. Uh, pro since it's a living room, probably could have uh, you added much more decoration here. For example, it could be a painting here on the wall, or it uh, could be some more stuff uh, in the living room. So quite a bit of glitching going on here. But yeah, I think this is a super fun uh, idea. Okay, here's the entry from Nova. You made this wild mouse sits here in the middle of this uh, big uh, junction of path. So here we can see a big path with some uh, gate buildings on top and this uh, strange shape. Not really sure what this is. And here in the middle we have this uh, wild mouse coaster. And the wild mouse layout uh, looks uh, looks quite all right. Um, but yeah, I think the support structure itself uh, it's a bit uh, on the chaotic side. Also, these uh, these buildings they kind of have uh, weird shapes. Um, yeah, it's these buildings don't really uh, don't really appeal to me. Um, maybe it would be nice if they uh, had a bit more uh, detail to them. That probably would have made them look a bit nicer. For example, there's this larger uh, structure on top of the house, but it has no windows uh, or anything. So maybe. Um, yeah, it, it would have made a little bit more sense if uh, if it had uh, some windows, so be so this building looks more like it could have a function. So yeah, I think it's a it's a not quite nice layout for the for the wild mouse. It just looks uh, a little bit strange. Okay, here we have the entry from Savvy Adam. Uh, yeah, he had quite a funny story about uh, a guy arriving in a town, I believe, and then there were seagulls flying through all the houses. And uh, yeah, this uh, wild mouse is actually uh, uh, looks like it uh, represents, uh, it's called Mouet Sauvage. Uh, in the story, um, yeah, they called the seagull problem the Mouet Sauvage. I think uh, it was uh, something like that. But yeah, uh, for a wild mouse, I think it's a bit of an unconventional layout. You can see this lift hill, then a big uh, curved drop, then into this uh, these hairpin turns. It's almost more like a Gerslauer bobsled, but uh, uh, without the curved drops being banked. So yeah, for a wild mouse, a bit of unconventional layout, but it's still uh, quite uh, fun to watch. And I think with the story that the park had, it's actually uh, quite a fun entry. Okay, here's the entry from Ball Pit Warrior. Uh, he actually made a dueling uh, wooden wild mouse. Now it's quite fun to follow these uh, trains uh, throughout the track. And in some parts uh, they actually have some nice uh, dueling action going on. Especially uh, over here. Uh, yeah, I think it would be quite fun to uh, to ride this. Doesn't look like the most comfortable ride in, the, in uh, some spots since uh, it does go through some of these uh, 90 degree curves uh, quite uh, quickly. But it sure is fun to uh, watch these vehicles uh, travel throughout the track. And I think the decoration uh, in this map, especially in these lower parts, is actually uh, quite nice. Okay, here's the entry from Memes RCT. Now uh, he actually made based his uh, layout on Wild the Mouse or Will the Mouse XXL, which is a traveling wild mouse coaster, which is huge. And you will actually see a few more uh, people later. In this video who also based their uh, um, layout on this ride. I believe uh, that was also an earlier one. Uh, maybe the the vaporwave one? Not really sure. But yeah, um, I think the layout actually uh, works quite well. Uh, you can see the typical zigzag section. Uh, also some of these uh, sudden uh, drops uh, which wild mouse are also uh, known for. But yeah, definitely a fun uh, coaster layout to watch. 
Uh, the rest of the park, uh, well, it looks uh, a little bit chaotic, especially the foliage. There's lots of completely different kinds of trees right next to each other. And I'm not really sure if that uh, uh, really looks uh, really nice. May have been better to uh, keep some trees next to each other which uh, have a similar uh, shade of, uh, of green. Um, that probably would work a little bit better. And also, uh, yeah, for the rest of the buildings, um, I'm not really sure if they really fit well uh, um, together. But uh, overall, I quite like the layout for the for the wild mouse. All right, so here we have the entry from Berem the Bomb. Um, yeah, you should probably uh, wear your sunglasses for this one. Very bright uh, colors. Uh, yeah, something which uh, Berem the Bomb uh, really likes uh, to do. No, oh, it's just a, a, it's a fun layout uh, to watch. So instead of the normal flat zigzag, it's more of a zigzag with also some some uh, hills uh, in it. The the cars travel through these uh, hairpin turns uh, quite uh, quickly. But yeah, um, again, it is quite a fun uh, coaster to watch. Some nice uh, support work as well, and especially here on the bottom floor. The structure for this roof actually looks quite nice with this glass and uh, these monorail tracks. Uh, um, also some other uh, fun, nice uh, buildings here on the ground level. What I actually uh, liked most was this uh, cluster of shops that Bam the Bob made here with this uh, track architecture and this uh, tree here uh, on top. So yeah, unconventional layout for the wild mouse, but uh, some really fun decorations in this map. Okay, here's the entry from Ford. Uh, Ford made this uh, spinning wild mouse. Um, now it, uh, it looks incredible. Um, the decoration here is uh, is really nice. Um, but yeah, the complaint that I saw most in the reviews, which I actually agree with as well, is that the layout is not really uh, uh, the layout of a wild mouse. I mean, this could work pretty well as a, as a spinning coaster, but uh, it it's really missing, uh, for example, any uh, hairpin turns. It's more of uh, swooping turns, uh, some spirals just to make the car spin, but it's not really a, a wild mouse. But yeah, like I already said, it does look uh, incredible, so that's why it uh, scored in the middle of the pack. All right, then here we have the entry from Johnson. Now, uh, of the map itself, uh, I think it looks uh, looks great. Uh, you can see this, uh, um, yeah, this this ground texturing here on the on the side. Uh, it is a little bit on the glitchy side in uh, some spots, so that might be something to uh, to be careful with. You can especially see it uh, over here. Now, there were some really fun tricks used in this map. For example, you can see how some of these recolorable trees, which are actually used to look like rock formations. And especially here in the corner, uh, that I think that looks uh, really nice. Now, we can also see this uh, wooden wild mouse coaster here. Uh, I especially love this uh, structure around the lift hill. That's uh, yeah, that's uh, just such nice uh, decoration for it. You can also see a piece of another uh, coaster uh, over here. Now the wild mouse itself, I think it looks uh, great. Again, it is uh, a little bit on the quick uh, side uh, throughout some of these hairpin uh, turns. Well, yeah, uh, just a wonderful uh, looking entry from uh, Johnson. I think he did a really nice job here. Okay, here's the entry from Low Poly Surf. Uh, Low Poly Surf uh, recreated uh, Goofy's Sky School, uh, which is actually a wild mouse coaster in, in Disneyland. Uh, yeah, it's one of the coasters that I, I actually rode a few years ago on my uh, visit to the States. Uh, yeah, it's just a wild mouse coaster, of course, uh, except the one in Disneyland is actually quite nicely decorated, has lots of goofy stuff uh, uh, surrounding the track. And sadly, here we don't see uh, any of that. So I think that's that's uh, that's a bit of a shame. But uh, I must say the rest of the map uh, does look really nice. You can see some nice uh, structures here. The queue is decorated in a really nice way. And I love this uh, thing that's put here in front of the entrance. Uh, although it is a little bit uh, on the glitchy side. But yeah, uh, I think it looks uh, really cool. So yeah, I just wish uh, that... There were maybe a few, a few more uh, decorations uh, surrounding the coaster. I think then it would have scored uh, a lot better. All right, here's the entry from Colty Arms. I believe he's a newcomer uh, to my uh, Discord server. A newcomer to my contest, at least. 
Uh, I think he made a really fun layout for his wild mouse coaster. You can see this big mansion here and the coaster actually travels uh, um, yeah, through it uh, or comes out of the building uh, several times. And then the track here that does this little cross uh, shape. Now it is a little bit on the slow side uh, uh, when it travels through this uh, section of the outside part. But uh, I think uh, in this section it uh, has a better speed. But yeah, it uh, definitely looks like a fun layout for a uh, wild mouse. And yeah, I think it's uh, the the track here. It's just uh, it's just really fun. Does this hairpin turns here and dives under it uh, a few times. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Colty Arms did a great job here on the layout. And of course, this uh, building uh, also. Um, I think it has a really cool shape. Okay, here's the entry from Andrew781. Uh, he made this uh, wild mouse which uh, travels over this waterfall. Uh, yeah, the lift hill actually goes in two, uh, it's in two sections o over the waterfall here, it drops down. Then it uh, goes through this uh, zigzag, zigzag section here. Uh, yeah, there's a few breaks along the along the way, but that's uh, what you would expect on a wild mouse coaster. Uh, yeah, I think the the coaster in general just has a good uh, pacing throughout. It's uh, never really too fast anywhere, and yeah, the especially the support structure for this uh, coaster. I think it looks really nice, uh, especially this uh, section here, right over the waterfall. I really loved the way uh, he did this. And we can also see a section here behind the map. Uh, yeah, I think that's also a fun uh, detail. Looks like it passes under the waterfall here. Yeah, this is a really uh, nice, uh, nicely decorated wild mouse. Uh, the support structure, uh, at least. Um, yeah, I think Andrew781 uh, did a really nice job here. Okay, here's the entry from NZ Wolfie. Now, I think he made a beautiful layout here for his wild mouse. Um, it's actually a spinning wild mouse. Uh, yeah, I think the layout here works great. Uh, but yeah, you can already see something going on here. And this is what happens when you try to hide your supports over water um, by moving the track under surface with the tile inspector. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really something you should not do. I'm not even able to select these track pieces. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you move your track pieces under surface while they're above water, then this will happen. Uh, it will at least happen for the people who watch the game uh, while using a drawing engine that's uh, not OpenGL. Uh, I cannot use OpenGL because it doesn't really play nice with my recording software. Uh, so yeah, uh, you really have to take that into account when uh, building something. Never move your track pieces below surface when they're above water. Um, you will regret it. <laughs> and if uh, this entry didn't have this flaw, then probably it would have gotten a much higher score from the people who watch this uh, entry in the, in the, with the software drawing engine. But yeah, um, really cool uh, layout, really cool decorations. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think it's a great uh, entry, except for this flaw. Okay, here's the entry from R. Adrian 1994 uh, He made a cool uh, layout for his wild mouse. And he did an even nicer job, uh, uh, yeah, decorating it. So yeah, this uh, looks like quite a standard uh, wild mouse layout, and the decoration for it is just uh, so cool. So uh, yeah, he made it look like this big chunk of cheese, and this actually makes a uh, great usage of these uh, door uh, scenery objects, which uh, actually will open up uh, if a wild mouse uh, coaster passes uh, through them. Hey, this uh, this is just a wonderful, uh, wonderful decoration. Also, I like how we made these uh, holes in the cheats using these pipe pieces. Um, yeah, this is just a super fun entry from uh, R. Adrian uh, 1994. Really great work. All right, here's the entry from Dididi Rob. Um, he made this uh, Ben Schiff wild mouse. Um, yeah, uh, he just decorated his wild mouse in a really nice way. Um, yeah, I love that he put this uh, little fence and these uh, lights here on the uh, on the lift hill. Um, made a nice catwalk for the for the wild mouse. I think the support structure also looks uh, pretty nice. Also some foliage uh, in between the layout, also surrounding it. He made a nice little uh, mouse uh, sculpture here or signage. <laughs> 
can see Zachary Lunsford here. Uh, yeah, some mo some uh, mown grass. That's always uh, a nice way to make your park look uh, clean and tidy. <laughs> some arcade games uh, next to the track. Ghost has a nice station. Uh, yeah, what's not to like? Uh, yeah, I think uh, did did Rob just did a, an amazing job with this uh, entry. Also a nice uh, nicely decorated queue. Um, yeah, just uh, wonderful work. Okay, here's the entry from Colorblind Unicorn. Now here we can see. Uh, I think it's a standard layout for a for a wild for a wild mouse, and there were actually a few parks which had a dueling version of a wild mouse like this. I believe one of them was uh, Bobayan Land until they uh, removed it, or th maybe they removed one of them. Not really sure. And the other one was, uh, I think it was. Uh, uh, a park in Japan, uh, Spa Land. Not really sure what was the name of the park again. But yeah, um, that's uh, what uh, um, Colorblind Unicorn based this entry on. Now, uh, of course, uh, dueling with a mirror image, of course, is not the most exciting way of having a dueling coaster, but it does make for a nice uh, entry, I think. Now, the queue for the park also, or for these coasters, also quite nicely decorated. We can see a diner here in the in the middle. Um, I especially love this weather fan here. That's a that's a quite a nice decoration, and it's also a nice support structure here for the coaster. Yeah, and uh, that's really all there is <laughs> in this entry. But yeah, I think it looks uh, great, and the colorblind unicorn uh, did a nice job here. All right, here's the entry from Lurker. Now, I, I don't think uh, he can call himself a Lurker anymore because he really joins in uh, every contest uh, nowadays. But yeah, um, he made this entry called Wacky Winery and it definitely looks like a wacky winery. <laughs> we can see this uh, spinning uh, wild mouse here. It travels throughout this, uh, in this uh, entire uh, piece, piece of land. Uh, we can also see uh, some purple water here, so I assume this is uh, actually a uh, wine. <laughs> no, it's quite fun uh, watching this uh, coaster travel uh, throughout this entry. Uh, it has a nice pace uh, throughout, um, also some uh, nice zigzag uh, sections. Uh, the map is just decorated in a really nice way. You can see this uh, uh, vineyard here with these uh, bushes, uh, these cables, uh, and these fences. I think this is done in a really nice way. I just love how we uh, did that. You can also see some grapes here on the top of this uh, building. That's also just a nice uh, combination of uh, track pieces and uh, scenery. And yeah, this uh, coaster layout is just uh, really fun uh, to watch. The buildings here, they also look uh, really nice, in, of course, in true uh, Lurker uh, fashion. So yeah, um, I think uh, Lurker did an incredible job setting uh, an atmosphere here. It really looks like an uh, like an old uh, winery, which has been converted in a small uh, theme park. So yeah, um, uh, Lurker uh, did, did an amazing job here. Okay, here's the entry from the brew. Now uh, here you can see the w Wild Mouse or uh, Wild Mouse XXL again. Uh, this one uh, looks a bit bigger, but yeah, I think this is uh, closer to the scale of the uh, of the real uh, uh, version of this ride. But yeah. Um, the brew just did an amazing job capturing a lot of details on this uh, on this uh, coaster, uh, especially the support structure. Quite nice. You can see these escape ladders that he uh, that he put here. Um, some beautiful decoration here on top of the lift hill with using these recolorable uh, shuttlecocks. That's uh, that's quite nice. You can see some of these uh, backdrops here. They also look uh, really cool. Also with some flowers uh, attached to them. Um, also some decoration uh, again here above the queue with some more of these recolorable objects. You can see a little uh, eating area over here. You can see some arcade games. Uh, yeah, because this is a coaster that will uh, travel uh, to different uh, fairs. So uh, I guess it makes sense for there uh, to be some of these uh, uh, arcade games uh, right next to it. But yeah. Um, this is just a really a fun entry to watch with all these little details uh, throughout the map. I think uh, the brew uh, just did an incredible job uh, recreating this uh, traveling coaster. Alright, there's just two entries remaining. 
I will first show uh, both of them and after that I will reveal which one is the winner of this round. Okay, here we have the entry from Flixpy. Uh, he made this uh, wild mouse which uh, rests on the some branches of this uh, giant tree. Now, of course, the, this tree it looks incredible. It's a really nice mix of uh, scenery and track pieces. So it looks like he actually made a trunk of these wall pieces and then surrounded it with these track pieces. And of course, lots of uh, foliage on top. I think the colors uh, of this just look uh, incredible. And of course, these uh, these flowers that he also put on top, and then the butterfly, they give some nice uh, accents uh, to the tree as well. But also on ground level, some incredible landscaping here uh, with this water, all these rocks, all the different plants here. And it's also really fun to watch this coaster uh, go around. So this coaster actually has a vertical lift uh, inside this uh, tree trunk. A little bit diff difficult to see. Uh, here it actually uh, came out. Um, but yeah, and then it just travels through this track with a lot of zigzag uh, elements. It is a little bit on the slow side in some spots, like uh, over here for example. But uh, it is quite fun uh, following this, uh, this coaster around. Yeah, uh, Flexby just uh, did an incredible job with this uh, coaster. Of course, it looks incredible. And uh, yeah, all the little details here are also uh, really nice. Great job. Okay, and here's the final entry. Uh, here's the entry from Zacchaeus. And um, yeah, he made this Mobius coaster where depending on which side you board, you either take a ride through heaven or you get banished uh, to hell. Well, I, I think that's... Uh, that's a really cool uh, theme. Um, yeah, it is a little bit difficult to follow these uh, coasters uh, around, but uh, yeah, it, it's just such a cool concept and it's just so nicely uh, decorated. Um, in the station for this coaster just uh, looks amazing. You can see this uh, scale here. Uh, I guess this is where you get uh, judged. So uh, either to hell or to, to heaven. Um, yeah, this building uh, just looks incredible. It's a great mix of all these uh, recolorable versions of uh, some of the expansion uh, objects. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just a great looking building with all this glass and all these different elements. And all these nice uh, uh, scenery pieces here on top used for decoration. Um, now over here we have the heaven part. Now what I really liked about this part was actually how we used these uh, recolorable bushes for clouds. Especially here for example for this uh, uh, heavenly circus. Um, here you can actually see how these clouds are used really nicely. Now there is a bit of glitching going on, uh, especially here over the water. Uh, once again uh, these support track piece supports were hidden by uh, putting them below surface. And you can see this track piece uh, here uh, glitching quite badly and goes completely invisible um, from this angle. So yeah, that's definitely something to uh, watch out for and never hide your track pieces or never hide your supports uh, for track pieces above water by putting the track pieces on the surface. Uh, the hell part also really cool, especially like how you put all these uh, guests here that are just walking around like, uh, like zombies. Um, of course, it's a bit... Uh, uh, Let's just say it's a, it's a nice detail. Oh, it is a bit uh, grim. <laughs> yeah, I think the um, the pieces here from the the scenery pieces here from the expansion. Uh, I think they actually work quite uh, well in uh, in hell because uh, that's where these uh, track pe these uh, scenery pieces definitely uh, belong. <laughs> but yeah, Zacchaeus did an amazing job here. This is such a wonderful entry. All right, two wonderful entries, uh, these last two, but uh, now it's time to reveal which one of these is the winner of this round. Is it the tree from Flixpie or is it the Judgment Day entry from Zacchaeus? And the winner of the mini Wild Mouse Coaster Contest is...
Zacchaeus. Yeah, um, we were left with two uh, beautiful entries at the end. But in the end, uh, Zacchaeus' entry uh, um, won the round. Now, both of these uh, last two layouts were uh, not really conventional layouts for wild mouse coasters, but they were both uh, decorated in such an amazing way that they uh, uh, both were really good contenders for, uh, for the first place. But yeah, lots of beautiful entries uh, in uh, this round. I really enjoyed uh, watching all these uh, submissions that I got from, uh, from all, all these players. Lots of new players uh, joining as well. Uh, if you would like to join one of these contests, uh, yeah, just become a member on my Discord server. The link is in the video description. It's completely free and uh, anybody uh, can join. Alright, uh, hope you enjoyed watching all these entries. If you liked uh, this video, please uh, consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel and it would uh, make me really happy and it uh, might let YouTube uh, show the video to more people. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.